Hello, all my life path threes. Welcome to your numerology quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. So let us go ahead and dive in. I know um, I haven't done these in a while, but I felt like doing them this week for you guys. Oh, that is perfect. Okay. Um, if you guys aren't totally sure of what your life path number is, you can just go down below. Yeah, I'm going to take those. Go down below in the description box and you can see how to calculate your life path just in a general way. All you need to do is add up the numbers of your date of birth and eventually you reduce it down to one number and that is your life path number. Your life path number is pretty much what you're wanting to accomplish throughout this whole lifetime, okay? And that's why I'm very into numerology. So. If, let me get through my normal intro, if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. I really appreciate it. So, my life path threes. Let me go over just a little bit of the general information because with these cards, it's really interesting because um, life path threes tend to be more like lone wolves or entrepreneurs. Like they're really, really good in law, business, sales, or communication. And they're very like energetic, successful, talented, even punctual. Like when you give them a task, they're very good at accomplishing it or completing it. Okay. They're very dedicated to that. Um, probably I would say the, maybe the shadow aspect is they can be like proud, maybe controlling and a little bit in interfering. But more than anything, I think just because of the entrepreneur spirit of a life path three, they tend to sometimes have an issue with authority figures. Okay. Like sometimes they just, they want freedom and they can feel constricted by like some type of outward force that's maybe constricting them in some way, shape or form. So that's a little bit of the energy I'm getting, which is kind of similar to the life path one, but your guys is, is going to be very, very different because you're all about entrepreneurship and threes are extremely creative, like just very talented, you know? And so sometimes three, they enjoy a challenge. Like they'll often seek out like really difficult situations because they love problem solving. Like they really love troubleshooting and they get kind of a thrill and an energetic high from solving an issue, from solving a problem and just seeing some type of like creation come from them, like confronting a problem head on and, you know, solving that problem. It's a high for them in a little bit of a way. Um, they can be extremely freedom loving. And so that's kind of what I'm getting, like the, uh, just that entrepreneurship keeps sh like really stepping out in my mind is like there's something here about freedom okay now I'm saying this because we've got the underworld and this is not the best energy so I think what's happening for some of you guys in your process is you're having to really like dive down into your own shadow the underworld is always like kind of a shadow work card to me and I think that's kind of what you guys might be dealing with right now is really diving down into your own, like the low vibrations that are stored in your own cellular structure and really maybe working on some type of purging in your life. I'm saying that because we've got the tear card. This to me is always like a detoxing. It's like a purging an energy from your being. So I think what's happening um, this is interesting. I'm going to get tons more clarification, but we've also got the shaman and the crone. For some of you, this could be your life path that you're wanting to step into. The crone is the final process of a three, um, three different archetypes, right? It's the maiden, the mother, and then eventually the crone. So it's a development from the maiden, which is very youthful, maybe lives on the edge, kind of naive and gullible. And then the mother, more of a nurturing energy, but there's a lot of learning and growth that comes with that. But the crone is the final step. It's very psychic. It's in tune with both of the underworld and like 
different dimensions, like that you have this ability to tap into different vibrations. And so maybe a part of you, the shaman could be, the shaman is different things. It's all about maybe you guys are wanting to heal others or it, the shaman is also about healing yourself. It's either or because a shaman, even if they want to heal others, they have to heal themselves. They, they have to show that they have that ability to do that for themselves. Otherwise, they're not really truly being authentic. So some of you, if this applies, it could actually be with your health. Okay, and I'm saying that because of the underworld. It could be something about, because I always see this as like parasites and stuff like that. It's not a very enjoyable card. But for some of you, you might actually be diving deep into that process of purging in some way, shape, or form. And this is why I think it's so prevalent in your read. Because I am telling you guys this. If you jump over to my playlist on like health and stuff like that, you'll see that I did this like crazy long water fast. I know I talk about this all the time. But I'm telling you guys, as I started to purge a lot of like old chemicals like stored in my cells just by water fasting it started to open me up into my purpose and I'm not even lying when I went through that my business took off it was crazy and I was like wow so for some of you maybe this is actually the solution to what you're wanting to step into it's going to be something about your health and really clearing your channel and your connection to the universe like your psychic connection because that's like ultimate wisdom it's connection to different worlds which is going to help you to really get into your life path and purpose okay so let me see what comes out here in the fairies oracle i love these cards i haven't used them for a long long time and i i love using them mainly in my numerology reads because i feel like they're really good at um, tapping into life purpose type of stuff. Okay, yeah, this is perfect. So we've got Lace the Moon's Daughter. This is all about like, oh, okay, you see that energy down there. He always reminds me of like Jabba the Hutt. I don't know why, but I think that there's something almost, like I'm saying, there's something kind of weighing down on you. And that can be all about like, that can be paranoia, mental disturbances. So there's something that may be getting in the way of you guys really stepping into your purpose. And maybe it's a fear of diving in or something like that. Oh, this is so good. I'm going to go ahead and start ripping off of these cards. I'm going to put this back in because the Dark Lady it is really similar to the Underworld. But this is all about diving deep into, into the darkness. Like really... Um, finding the light deep down in there, right? She takes you really deep into the places that you really don't want to go into, but that's a part of the process of the alchemization. It's it's going down within to see everything in a different light, and that's why I love that tear. It's also, there's that eyeball that it's seeing something so that you can purge it, okay? Now, let me show you what's coming out here. Yeah, this is so good. Okay, what's happening for you guys? This is, I think what's happening is there's some type of mental disturbance that you're experiencing and it could even be keeping you up at night. And I'm telling you guys, this could be legit, just be like lower vibrations that are in your body. Parasites, like this is legitimately what I talk about. You guys might not want to hear it, but it's so legit. If you're wanting to get into your purpose, like entrepreneurship and things like that, this is the process. We've got the indie card. And because of that, it's because of the fear and the mental disturbance of this, it's causing you to be very indecisive. Okay. It's like you don't know what to do, which to do, because fear is driving a lot of your decision making right now. But this is what's so beautiful. The, like, <laughs> Oh, that gnome. This is what's coming out. Like, I love the description in the book about this because this is all about, do you see how he's kind of like winking? It's because this process might be really painful and uncomfortable, but there's 
there's like something that's going to open up for you. That's why he's winking because down the road you will see all the benefit of this. You know, even though right now it's very conflicting, very uncomfortable because through this, this is why I'm saying we've got the master maker and the 22 up in the corner. That is a master number, which is so funny because this is, well, you're not a life path too, but this is about you mastery, you know, like self-discipline, putting your foot down when it comes to yourself. Mainly, I want to say with yourself and your health and really committing to something that you need to know, you know, you need to do when it comes to purging or something along those lines. It's all about your healing process and opening up your channel to receiving insight, intuition, guidance. And this is why I'm saying this because this is so amazing. The, the fairy godmother, this is your guides that are wanting to bring in some type of gift and offer. You see how she has that in her hands? This is all about, um, she is always there during like an SOS, you know, like when you're crying out for help, she's there bringing some type of guidance or comfort or bringing them some type of like information to help you get out of this situation. Okay. Now the next card we have, we've got Iris of the rainbow. I'm telling you guys, and this is the hope being restored, right? That rainbow. This is everything like everything that you're wishing, you'll start to see that as you follow this process, as you really like start to become really disciplined, that master maker, like even though some of you guys might be just burnt out, like you can't go one step longer, there's something that's really pulled at you in your process. This is all about, nope, no excuses. I'm going to do it anyway. It's putting your foot down and not allowing yourself to be a victim to your circumstances like and through that like i'm saying through your psychic connection whatever it is that you need to really be disciplined about in your life you're going to open up the channel and this is where you're going to receive some type of guidance which is going to bring in both of these right the hope the rainbow the the luck that comes in and the abundance and with that is going to be she, she of the kruak this is such a healing nurturing energy and that's what's coming in for you and that's why I feel like your guides are coming in right now and they're like come on come on threes like you really need to dedicate yourself to this because there's a lot of beautiful healing energy that's going to be coming in for you and you need to trust you really really need to put your foot down and tell yourself no Dedicate yourself to your healing process so that you can get what you are wanting, so that you can truly step into all the things that you're desiring, whether that's like your entrepreneurship, like getting more freedom in your life, however that applies. But that's what they're really wanting to direct the focus on. So I'm pretty close on time. Um, so and I know I didn't pull cards. I'm going to go ahead and pull cards in the extended to get more details on this. So if you guys want to follow me over there, definitely feel free. You can just go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you on the other side. But if this is where we leave things, my life path threes, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best and I will see you in your next reading. Take care.